All right, <clears throat> here's your guys' homework on graphing um, quadratic functions in standard form. So, <coughs> first, um, let's see what we got to do. All right, so we have this, and first we got to find y-intercept. So, remember in your guys' notes to find y-intercept set x equal to 0. So... I'm going to do this right here for us. So when we have x equal to 0, we simply have 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 6. And you guys, it's going to be 0, 0, minus 6. So 0, 0, minus 6, you guys, that's just negative 6. So <coughs> our x, y intercept is going to be 0, comma, negative 6. Okay, so that's that first one. Now let's get our roots. So roots or x-intercept, you guys. This is when you guys set it, set y equal to zero, and then we solve. So y, you guys, is the same thing as f of x. So zero is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Now, 0 is equal to, let's factor out a 2 from each term. 2 divided by 2, x squared. 4 divided by 2, 2x. Negative 6 divided by 2, minus 3. And then, you guys, we factor. So, when we factor, on the top, we have negative 3. And on the bottom, we have 2. So, two things that multiply to negative 3, but add together gives you guys 2. That is negative 1 and 3. So then this is going to turn out to be, guys, 0 is equal to 2 times x minus 1 and x plus 3. So then x is going to equal to 1 or negative 3. So that's your guys' roots also called x-intercept, also called zeros. It's 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. <coughs> All right. Now we got to find our vertex. So if you guys recall, your guys' vertex is when we get our x value, it's going to be when we have negative b over 2a. So let's see what values we have. Okay, your a value is equal to 2, your b value is equal to 4, and your c value is equal to negative 6. So negative b, you guys, is just negative 4. 2 times our a value is 2. This is going to be negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So that's our x value for the vertex. So I'm just going to put negative 1 into here. Also remember, that's also your guys' axis of symmetry, which is at negative 1. <coughs> okay, so now let's, um, let's get our y value. So in your guys' notes, to get your y value, you just substitute your x value into the original equation. So, um, so... Let's get negative 1 and plug it into our original equation right there. So f of negative 1 is going to equal to 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 6. Negative 1 squared, you guys, is just 1. So 2 times 1 is just 2. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 minus 6. And this is going to give you guys negative 8. So it's going to be negative 1 comma negative 8. All right, so let's graph. So <clears throat> let's do negative 1, comma, negative 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is our vertex. Negative 1, comma, negative 8. <coughs> okay, well, we have other stuff as well, you guys. We have our roots. We have our y-intercept. So I'm just going to plot our roots. That's 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. That's another. 
And also, we can graph our y-intercept. One, two, three, four, five. So that's essentially everything we need, you guys, in terms of graphing. You guys can also find your points as well, like we did in class. But since you guys already found your roots and y-intercept, then we could just graph this. So then your guys' graph should look like this. So there's your guys' graph. Max or min? Well, this certainly looks like a low point. So that means we have a minimum. Um, concavity opens up. Now let's get the domain. Okay, so how far left does this graph go? Well, if you guys just follow this graph along and just always move to the left, notice how it's just infinitely just going to go always to the left. So negative infinity, and then how far right is it going to go? All the way to infinity. <coughs> the range, how low does this graph go? Well, if you look at right there, the lowest y value is going to be negative 8. So bracket negative 8 to how high? Infinity. And there is your guys' all your information for number 1. <clears throat> Um, here's number two. <coughs> okay, so again, y-intercept, right? So y-intercept, let's use the same color for consistency. Okay, so in your notes, right, y-intercept is set x equal to zero. So this is going to be, you guys, zero squared plus two times zero minus eight, which is simply negative eight. So 0, comma, negative 8. I'm going to plot it. 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> so there's 0, comma, negative 8. Now let's find our roots or x intercept for your zeros. And this is when you guys set y equal to 0. So 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. This is equal to x plus 4 times x minus 2. So our x values, you guys, are negative 4 and 2. So negative 4 comma 0 or 2 comma 0. And let's graph that. There's 2 comma 0 and there's negative 4 comma 0. 1, 2, 3. <coughs> okay, your vertex, your guys' x value is going to equal to negative b over 2a. This is going to give us our x value for the vertex. So let's label our a is equal to 1, our b value is equal to 2, and our c value is equal to negative 8. All right, so negative 2 all over 2 times 1, which is negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So our x value for our vertex is negative 1. Now let's plug that into the original to find our y value. So um, y is going to equal to, now we're going to plug in negative 1 into our original equation. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 8. 1 minus 2 minus 8, this is going to give us negative 9. So negative 1 comma negative 9. So I'm just going to plot my vertex right there. And remember, you guys, the axis of symmetry is also the x value of the vertex, so negative 1. I'm going to plot that so that we know what the axis of symmetry is. And then, you guys, we can just graph it. So there we go. Max or min? Well, this is going to give us a minimum, so this is going to give us a minimum. Concavity opens up. <coughs> Domain, how far left does this graph go? Negative infinity. How far right? Positive infinity. Range, what is the lowest point? I'll label that this is the vertex. The low, This vertex is negative 1. The lowest point, you guys, is negative 9. So negative 9 to... negative 9 to infinity. And there you guys have it. So 
Again, we're going to be practicing a lot, this a lot, you guys, so just try to get in groove of all of this, but yeah, this is how you guys do questions one and two, okay?